Hello, my name is Ashiria, and today we'll be talking about airfoils. So what is an airfoil? An airfoil is the shape or cross-section of an airplane wing. As you can see in this diagram, there's a plane perpendicular to the wing, and the part of the wing intersecting is the airfoil. The edge closest to the front of the plane is the leading edge, and the one towards the back is the trailing edge. So how does an airfoil work? Well, in this diagram, you can see the uh, cross-section of a wing, or the airfoil, that is moving through the air. You can see that below the wing, there is a higher pressure and a lot more air. And above the wing, there's a lower pressure. In this case, the air from the bottom of the wing tries to move upwards and therefore moves the wing and the whole aircraft upwards. This is called Bernoulli's effect. Here are two different types of airfoils. One is non-symmetrical, where the top and the bottom are not the exact same shape and one is symmetrical where the top and the bottom are the same shape. Two other types of airfoils are laminar and conventional. Laminar airfoils are faster, thinner, the leading edge is pointed, and the upper and lower surfaces are symmetrical. This reduces drag and the thickest point is at the 50% cord. Conventional airfoils have the upper and lower surfaces less symmetrical and the thickest point is at the 25% cord. These are preferred on commercial aircraft and are also resistant to stalling. Along with the airfoil, there are many other factors affecting lift. For example, the tilt of the wings, the thickness of the cord, and the overall aircraft itself are all factors that would affect the lift. Thank you for watching. For more STEM related content, please visit www.liftofftogether.org and subscribe.